Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Fatal Frame. Last time we began the second night and uh, there was a door that we couldn't get by but we know that we have to find some sort of scroll so we went in search of this scroll and we came to a locked door which I have just unlocked. So in today's outing we're going to go ahead and uh, see what lies beyond the door. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, quickly explain. Uh, how we solved that. Um, I've already forgotten what exactly it said, but we did pick up a scrap talking about the blind demon ritual. And um, some of the stuff that was sort of scratched off or stuff that we couldn't really see, uh, it, it, it uh, included the words of like strangling ritual and held on the day of. So I deduced that to open up the door, we would need to use the, um, let's say the day of uh, the day of the ritual uh, as uh, as the the combination so uh the, the combination was the 26th day of the 11th month so tw two six eleven uh so that was the that was the uh, that was the the combination that was the the, the the key to get through so now we're gonna go ahead and uh come back this way um because we also did get a vision that there was something on the well something uh, there was a piece of something that we would uh, probably need so I'm gonna come in here and uh, you know what since there is a it's not here where is it am I getting mixed up no I'm pretty sure yeah there's a save point right here we're gonna go ahead and use that it does is that, is that like a smoke coming up out of the well that's just a little eerie just a little bit uh, we're gonna go ahead and save really quick uh, so that I can uh, so I can sort of re uh, rest at ease be like all right we've saved the game we we should be okay we should be fine all right, demon tank, backyard. So let's go ahead and uh, go pick this up. Surely trying to pick up the item will lead to us getting attacked by some sort of ghost. Maybe. Wait, is there anything on the, the, the well? Am I mistaken? Oh. Oh, we have to move the thing aside. Creepy at all. Whoa, you're right in my face, aren't you? We're gonna go ahead and just start snapping some photos of the creepy child. Ah! <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh man. Laughing kids creep me the heck right out. Uh, where are you? You're still in front of me. No, you're not. You've moved. Dang. Something shows in the photo small piece uh, on the side of the, the well and I believe I've gotten uh, gotten the child dang okay that one was that one, actually that fight was not bad at all um, but it was it was uh, it was kind of creepy the something hurry maybe I can uh, pick that up uh, in editing uh, okay I was like w it looks like something's reaching up out of it but no it's just because of the the wavy uh, pattern I'm gonna come back over here to the, uh, actually, you know what, first we'll go ahead and grab the item, then we'll go back to the save point, because, uh, there's also a, uh, like, like that's where we can sort of go ahead and refill our, uh, our, uh, film, because if you'll notice, we're down to 19 shots left, and we can go ahead and top that up to at least 30, so, let's see, item, get, like the photo, there is a blue stone atop the well, a stone with a strange character carved into it, the reverse side has a plug, now there's also a, Shimmering effect, so let's take a sh uh, shot of that. The heck is that? Something shows in the photo. What the heck am I looking at? Is that, is that is that blood on the side? I can't make out what I'm looking at. It looks... Is that... Uh, I think I see a face. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I put the photo in my file. Wait. Uh oh, okay. Oh, it's it's you. Hi, how are you doing? Um, are you the Bound Man? I believe. Yeah, I believe that's uh, the Bound Man. All right. Uh, you'll notice over in the 
But behind him, though, our save point has, uh, we'll say, uh, we'll say, gotten a red light to it. Uh, and that is, uh, that is something I didn't actually know the first time playing this game. It actually, uh, creeped me out. Sorry, I just went quiet because I, want, I wanted to hear if he was going to say something. Um, because sometimes they say something and I miss it because I'm talking. Um, when I first played this game, I, uh, I, I played under the assumption, under the impression that, you know, if it's got a save point there, then obviously it must be safe, right? Uh, nothing would, would possibly attack me. Uh, there we go. Reloading up to 30 exposures of Type 14 film. There we go. Went and topped up, and then we'll go ahead and save again. Uh, just because we can. And, we, and, you know, we've done a little bit of, uh, fighting. We're topped up. We haven't lost anything. It's a, it's a good time to save. Uh, so yeah, that, that, uh, that surprised me, because I, I had gone back to earlier save rooms and gotten attacked by ghosts. And I was like, what the heck? Um, so, th th there's, there's a little, uh, there's a little something for you. The, uh, it's not safe. Is, uh, Stone Mirror still back here? No. Or did I already pick that one up? No, I don't think I did. Hmm. Alright, so we obviously have a piece, but I figure, you know what, we'll continue heading in this direction, uh, just to sort of go back over things and see if, uh, see if there's anything new here. Let's go ahead on through this door. I, I don't. Oh, this, does this lead out to the? Yes, this leads out to the creepy place. Um, well, the whole place is creepy. To be, uh, you know, <laughs> if we're being entirely honest, the whole place is very, very creepy. Um, but when I say creepy, I mean the place where we met the the really spooky ghost, the one that cursed us, the one that, uh, you know, there was the the, um, the Buddha statues that were sort of torn apart. Uh, I figure we will come back here and uh, re-explore the place. Hopefully we will not be attacked again. I do see there's, what, two items up there? There's one on the left, one on the right. So we'll see if we can, uh, pick those up and what, uh, those will do for us. Um, uh, no, there we go. Something is reflecting light in the dark. A spirit stone! Nice! When, like, like I said, when we get the, uh, the special abilities on, on the camera, then we might be able to use some of those, but, uh, we have to use them sparingly. Because they are limited use. There's a box of film at the side of the passage. I'm already carrying the maximum number of Type 37. I'm starting to wonder if I should start using my Type 37. I've got so much of it. And we'll see. If I get if I get into a fight that's giving me trouble, then I'll switch over to it. Um. All right. So basically, it's the same. Oh. Oh, I see. I see you shimmering effect or wobbling effect or. Shimmering wobbling effect. Do I have to get closer? Yep, there we are. Tormented ones. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. What the crap? Are you. Which direction are you coming from? My, my filament turned orange, and I've got the, the sort of combat music. Okay, crap, 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 crap. Go out the door. Get out the door. You can't get me. Oh, come on! Really? Alright, so we had our- Oh, no, 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 don't change direction! Alright. Darn it, okay. So now we no longer have our, uh, our, uh, stone mirror. The stone mirror was activated, uh, we'll say... It was activated, uh, basically when we started going through the door, and it, um... Come on. Gather some power, we got the shot. Okay. And now we did, uh, pass a- another stone mirror on our way here. Uh, I don't remember where it was, uh, but we'll need to go ahead and pick that up. Uh, dang, I, you know, I, I was, I don't know, for some reason I thought that if going through the door, you know, if I was in that animation, they wouldn't be able to attack me, but, um, evidently I was wrong. Uh, they totally can, uh, can attack me. So, we'll see if we can go ahead and get the, ourselves another stone mirror. Uh, I might start using the, 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 the herbs to, uh, to heal uh, myself. I'm not too sure. I, I might be working under the, 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 we'll say the false... Uh, assumption. I'm working with false information that it's best to uh, just let the stone mirrors do their job 
and then uh, use the herbal uh, medicine when you don't have one. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I guess we'll find out if I'm if I start dying horribly and I'm going. Oh, that's why I would want to use. I want to hold on to uh, uh, a stone mirror. I guess it's, it's it's nice to have a sort of a um, uh, a, a lifeline. I guess. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a good way to put it. Um, all right. Well, we we did make a little bit of progress. We did lose the stone mirror, but we'll go ahead and save anyways. I think I'll use a new slot next time. All right. Back to the game. All right, we'll head back the way we came. We did get that um, that piece from the well, and maybe we can use that to open up one of the locked doors. You know, another nice thing I like about, um, we'll say, ghost settings, when it's this kind of supernatural. Um, oh, why is the camera? Did the camera always go up that way? I think it did. Uh, is that it uh, makes sense when you're changing the environment? Because it has a bit of that uh, ghostly, uh, you know, anything can happen type um, air to it. So it makes, uh, we'll say, re-traversing re uh, areas that you've been to already a little bit more interesting because... That's oh, just a film. Um, a little bit more interesting because, you know, it's no longer... It, it's, 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 uh, it, it can make things different. It can change things up and it still kind of makes sense. Uh, whereas, with, let's say, more of a physical th thing, well, I suppose you could change up the environment, but you're maybe a little bit more limited in how you can do it. You know, you can have something move from one area to another. Can we go through this door yet? No. It's still locked. Oh. Oh, it's the blind one. Okay. She's, uh... Crap. Crap, she's behind me. She's behind me. I should use my quick turn. There we go. Don't move, don't move. Oh, crap! Move! Alright, let's, um... Spin around. Stupid blind ghost. Uh, you know, she started going down the stairs and I was like, oh, what the heck? Uh, so I stopped and, of course... So, is she... she's tricky. She's definitely one of the trickier ghosts you have to contend with because... Um, she has this, uh, this, uh, let's see, there we go, perfect, another stone mirror. Uh, she has this, uh, I believe the word I want to use is propensity? Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm using that correctly. She has this tendency to, uh, to like to sort of warp behind you. Why are you looking up? Is there something up there? She's looking up. That's interesting. Uh, I've noticed that... Your character seems to be aware of things through walls. And, uh, I, I do find that, uh, kind of intriguing because that kind of tells me that there's, um, some sort of, um, uh, something in the game, obviously, is being drawn or being, not, maybe not drawn, but, holy crap, holy crap, <laughs> she just, like, pops up in front of me. The random encounters are just getting wild. Get lost. Are, are we are we good now? Are we gonna get... Hey, if you can leave me alone for a while, that would be great. Now I wonder though, am I getting points for repeatedly getting these random uh, these random ghosts? That's something I hadn't considered. My score right now is at twenty one thousand. That is actually pretty great. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that does mean that uh, I go ahead. I'm going ahead and I'm, uh, I am gaining points from those, uh, those, um, those captures. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually boost up my max value. That means I'm gonna be able to do more damage potentially with my uh, camera than uh, before. All right. Now I know this this door over here required a something to be slotted into it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, this one here. I don't think we can go here yet. We'll try. It's kind of broken. No, the, the door is closed fast. Himuro Family Crest. It probably unlocks the door, but it's broken. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that the, the piece that we got is for the, um, there was another door. It was over by that, uh, in that room with the, the same room with the, uh, save point. 
And I don't think this is the way to get to there. No, this leads back over by the water wheel and that. Oh, that's creepy. There's like little kid voices singing in the background. Well, there was. Alright, so let's see. We've got... I'm trying to figure out where I'm going here. Okay, yeah, it's this way here. Okay, so at the end of this room, off to the right is a save point. We'll stop in there. Uh, go ahead and we'll stop in there, save the game, and then we'll see if we can't, um, use that, uh, there, there was a, uh, yeah, that door, you can see it off a bit off to the left. Get to the save point before the light turns red. That'd be good. Uh, save game data. We'll go ahead to under slot one. Uh, rubble room. I think we're in the rubble room now, so, there we go. Perfect. Same room, different, ooh. Let's go ahead and top up on film. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can get through this, uh, this door now. Or if this is still bu busted. I, I'm not really sure where else we would go. There we go, perfect. Alright, so we need to move these around to sort of solve the puzzle, get things to sort of match. So, what do we want to do? Uh, we ultimately... Okay, so the piece we got fills up the top right. Uh, but we need to shuffle around the remaining pieces so that we can, uh, put the, those pieces where they belong. So if I took... Okay, yeah, we can. I can see where those are supposed to go. Um... Okay, well, let's, let's try some, just, let's try just moving things around, um, first, oh darn it, uh, maybe that, and then that one, and then this way, and this way? Wow, first try again! No, I wasn't, no, I didn't remember from last time, uh, and no, I'm not looking at anything. Awesome! I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of like, first try both both times, because I remember, I remember trying, uh, when I, uh, when I played this on the Xbox, I was trying over and over, and this one actually took me a while for some reason, it's a very simple puzzle, but whatever, there we go. Blue carving inserted. Oh, this looks lovely. I, I kind of remember this. I think this is like the last place I made it to on the Xbox version before I, uh, Forgot to keep playing. I think that's how. Yeah. Oh, this is a lovely place. Oh! No, come back here! It's just around that corner. Alright, well, I guess we missed uh, we missed a shot of Mufuyu. That that looks like uh it looked like our brother, but judging by the fact that he disappeared and that he triggered our uh, our filament on our camera, kind of lends me to believe that uh, he's a ghost now. I wonder if our character in the game has come to this realization. What did he drop? There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Mafuyu's note. The mansion has started to change. As far as I can figure out, the ghosts are trying to pull me back into the past. The spirits are using their power to make parts of the mansion revert to the way they were in the past. The ghosts of that era are beginning to stir. Just what exactly happened in this mansion anyway? And just what do the ghosts want me to do about it? Interesting. That's kind of funny because that's exactly what I was talking about. I'm like, you know, with ghosts, you can kind of get away with that kind of stuff where you can alter the environment in ways that you can't do with, like, a physical uh, creature. Because, you know, ghosts are a lot more ethereal. You know, you can play around with dimensions and stuff like that. Uh, and in this case here, it looks like we're going to be playing around with time travel a little bit. That's kind of cool. I put Mafuyu's note in my file. All right, so there's another door here. Can we get through this door? Um... Oh, wait, that's a purple stone. We did pick up a purple stone, didn't we? It was on top of that, um, the tomb, the pile, right? All right, so we've got seven moves. I don't know, what is, what is dictating that we only get seven moves? Like, in, in real life, what, what, like, what would dictate that we only have seven moves? Like, why wouldn't we be able to just keep going? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, all right, well, let's see. Can we play, uh, how can we, uh, move these around? Maybe we'll... Okay, we'll grab this one. And then... Uh, hmm. Well, I think I think we made a bad choice. Uh, well, we can only choose this one now. Grab this one. And... 
Let me grab that one. I guess we don't have any other choice but to grab this one. Uh huh. Yeah, we totally did not solve this. All right, nothing happens. I guess this isn't the right range, but no kidding. But everything so somehow went ahead and uh, reset itself. Oh, but Jason, Jason, Jason. Ghosts, remember? Ghostiness. That, that, that explains the lock. Yeah, the ghost went ahead and reset it on me. That's what happened. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Uh, okay, I think I see what I did wrong. We'll grab this one first. Everything went quiet. That's really, uh, I'm like, uh-oh. Um... We kind of want this one. All right, and then we grab this one, maybe? This one. Grab that one. Uh, no, I, I screwed that one up again. Sure, whatever. All right, give me a second. I'm going to give this a few more tries. There we go. <laughs> it was my very next try. There we go. Purple, purple carving inserted. That's gonna open up yet another door. All right, let's see what lies beyond here. What is this, like a, a library? It almost looks like, oh. It's Ultima for you. All right, I was mistaken. The, 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 the poor texturing kind of looked like shelves of books, but I guess it's just wood. All right, so we've spotted our uh, our brother. Uh, I guess he's down below. We'll have to find a way down. Um, walking along the edge. Yes, this is the last place I remember seeing before I stopped playing. All right, so we're we're officially getting to the point where uh, I guess we're kind of going in blind. To be fair, I've forgotten so much about it. I've pretty much been playing this blind anyways, but... Alright, so there's a ladder here, but I'm kind of curious what's along the outskirts. We we don't want to just go ahead and run to run to the goal. We want to take our time, look around, see if there's any items, anything of note, anything interesting. You know, give the ghost opportunity to come out and jump out and scare me, me and us, or just me, or maybe just us. Wait, I meant you. You know what I'm saying. You understand. You're, like, plugged into my brain. Um, alright, so I think we've come full circle. Yep, that's the door. Alright. Oh, that's a different little music cue. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and, uh, head down the ladder. Sorry for walking, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm testing a theory. Uh, cause, uh, on the Xbox version, I, actually, you know, uh, now that I think about it, I have been getting a lot of random encounters, even here. Um, but on the Xbox version, I remember getting into, like, almost every single room. I was just kept getting into, uh, you know, these, these encounters with these ghosts. And I was, I, I, I was wondering, because I, I ran, I ran around all the time. So, I, I just kind of want to look at, we'll say, the encounter rate now. And then, uh, maybe I'll start running around a little bit later. And then, uh, we can, uh, sort of compare and see, you know, if, uh, your movement speed has any effect on... How often you are attacked? Because uh, my thing is, you know, you're drawing attention to yourself. You're making a lot of noise. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that attracts ghosts. I don't know. Hey, are you gonna go down the, the ladder? There we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm not looking forward to setting my foot down on the bottom. What horrors lie in wait? Wait, I hear voices. Oh, this is, this is, uh, this is creepy. I love this. This is, uh, this is pretty great. Um, what are these things? Are those just pillars, like, uh, holding up the, uh, the, the chamber? Uh, oh! I don't like where I'm at right now. I see where, I, what, what this is. I think. These are places where ropes are, so, oh, this is where the ritual was probably done, but then again, there was no, there's no blood or anything here. Horn-like rocks have been tied with sacred ropes. It looks like an altar. Well, maybe this is. Oh, wait. I see something on the ground. What have we got over here? I found some old research documents among the wood. Research scrap. 
the ritual masks and their meaning. In the Humiro rituals, masks play a very important role. One of them is called the blinding mask, which is used in the demon tag ritual. Demon tag ritual, I thought it was a game. Two stakes pierce through the eyes of the blinding mask. Okay, it is used in the demon tag ritual as a blindfold. So, you put the mask on and it blinds you? Like, literally, it spikes your eyes? That's kind of, okay, that's kind of gruesome. Cool. <laughs> cool. Wait, that would explain the, the blind uh, ghost, right? The legend goes, while the demon is blindfolded, enter the rope altar and perform the ritual. This might mean that the blinding mask is a key to the rope altar. Okay. I, I like that, because that, that kind of ties into some of the ghosts that we've been encountering. I wonder if that's why that one ghost is blind, is that she wore the, um, the blinding mask. I put the book describing the Humido family in my file. Alright, and what have we got here? It looks- I think this is where Mafuyu was going, right? This looks like a big door. Can we interact with this? A huge door is in the way. It doesn't seem to open. Maybe it's locked. Oh! Hello. Man before d What? Beyond the store is the rituals something. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, what is that? A mask with stakes in it appears on the pillar next to the door. Okay. So we need to find the mask and put it in there. But where do we get the mask? This is the, uh... This is the furthest point we've been. Uh-oh. No nope, there's no one here. Nope, no one here. We're all gone. Holy crap! What the cr Oh, she warped right on top of me! That is- That was not fair. Alright. There we go. Oh, what the crap? Okay. Only the red candles in the photo are lit. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. So they told- Basically, the game tells us that we need to get the mask, the blinding mask, and then they throw the blinded ghost at us. There was a tiny matchbox where the ghost was. It's old, but the matches inside look usable. Okay, now we've got to go find those candles and, uh, light the thing up. Uh, I actually want to hang on to my stone mirror a bit. Um, I don't want it to get used yet. I'm actually going to use one of the herbal medicines. There we go. Um, I figure we'll, we'll sort of hit a nice balance here. All right, so okay, that's what we got to do. So we've got to head back, find those uh, those candles. There's a, I'm, I'm I'm assuming we go back to the candle room. There's a, there's a whole room full of candles. Actually, I think I know exactly where that is. Um, okay, so we head back there. We light the candles. That will probably give us the next piece uh, of the puzzle that we need uh, to go ahead to traverse somewhere else. Either it's going to give us the the scroll we need to get through that uh, that one sealed door uh, in the uh, child's doll room. Or it's going to give us uh, the mask that we need to get down here. I'm assuming it's probably going to give us a scroll. And that will open up another path up, up above. I kind of get the impression that this here is going to be one of the last areas of the game that we have to slowly sort of chip away at. What the heck was that? My, uh, my, uh, my controller is rumbling, so I'm assuming that something is nearby. Something is rumbling. What is it? I'm I'm kind of oh I don't uh I don't know if it's just the room or if there's actually something there or what but you know what guys I'm sorry we're going to have to find out next time I'm out of time for today so if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.